students, welcome to the virtual English class produced by the Center for Education and Human Resource Development. Today, we are going to read a text from your grade six English book, Unit Four. The topic for today's lesson is a field trip. In this lesson, you are going to learn some skills like making polite requests and giving suggestions and some new vocabularies and you are also going to practice some exercises from your book. Are you ready students? Please open your book on page number 27 and get ready with your pen and pencil and paper. All right, are you ready students? Okay, let's start. We have a picture at the beginning of your unit four. So I'd like you to show and please have a look at the picture. Can you see the picture now? What do you see there? Who are these people? Do you think they are students and a teacher? Yes, they are students like you. And what are they doing? Can you guess? Yes, they are talking or having some conversation. Uh, maybe they are planning for some activities in the classroom or outside the classroom. So let's look at the conversation and find out what are they going to do. Let me read it for you. Please follow me after. Sir, may we wear our casual dress? No, you must all wear school uniform. Should we take notebooks? Yes, you should all take your notebooks. By this conversation, what do you understand? They are definitely going out of the school, maybe for some visit. Right, students? Because we can see that in the conversation, they are talking about wearing their casual dress or not, or they are trying to get the permission from teacher to take some notebooks or not. So this is the you know, conversation for planning some visit to a field. Okay, then let's get even closer to the topic for today's lesson with the questions given in your book at the beginning of your lesson. Now let's read the questions. Here are the questions. Who will select the group leader? Where are the students going? List the names of the places they are going to visit. So when do you need group leader? Yes, when you are going out to play uh, games or when you are going to visit certain place. Or what do you call that when you visit a place? You can say that it's a school trip or a field trip, right? Yes. So we are going to look for where are the students going. And we are also going to look for the names of the places that they are going to visit. Okay, students, now you can guess that students in the text are going to some place. So can you guess where are they going? Do you have any idea where students go? Yes, students go to some important places like religious places like temples or historical places like darbars or maybe uh, you know, natural beautiful places like you know, forest you know, riversides, a community for the learning about the cultures, right? So we can guess that the students are going to one of these places. Now let's get even closer to the topic with the pictures I have here. Can you tell me which temple is this? Yes, you have seen this many times. Or most of you have even reached there, right? Okay, this is the Manakamana Temple. Where is it located? It is located in Gorkha district, right? You are absolutely right. Now, can you tell me what is the special means of transportation that we reach there? From which we travel to 
Manakamana Temple. Have you got any idea? I'll show you the picture. Can you tell me? What are these pictures? Do you think there are some boxes? Yes, they are like some boxes hanging on a rope. There are actually cable cars, right? They are the means of transportation and they take you to the top of the mountain or take you to down to the mountain. So they are called cable cars because they hang on cables or ropes. Like you can see, it, it's like hanging bats on a rope. Right? Okay, students. Now we are going to read about a similar field trip with a similar experiences and visiting to certain places with these things there. So let's look at the topic here a field trip. Do you know what is a field trip again? Yes, it's a visit to a place for a learning purpose. You go to you know, outside of your classroom for getting the observation or first-hand experience of that places, things, and you take the ideas from there. All right, so we have a text here about a field trip, and definitely we have already seen that the students are going to a field trip to a place where there are temples, where there are cable cars and the place which, you know, the Manakamana temple is there is Gorkha district, right? Okay, now let's start reading the text. I'll help you to explore the ideas here. Now let's start reading, reading the text. Here, the teacher is giving instructions to the students of grade six. You will all should make small groups of five. You should select a group leader. Sambu and Santi will monitor the overall team. You can ask them anything if you do not understand. You ought to follow their instructions. In this paragraph, the teacher is giving instructions to the grade six students, right? And there are two people as the team leader. They are Sambu and Santi, right? Can you see this? Yes, Sambu and Santi are the monitor of the overall team. And the teacher asks the students to follow the instructions given by the monitor. All right, let's see the next paragraph. Please, sir, may we wear our casual dress? The children asked. No, you may not. You must all wear the uniform, answer the teacher. Should we carry our school bags? They were asking each other. Do we need to carry notebooks? Okay, these are the questions that students are talking and asking each other. They are confused whether to you know, wear casual dress or to wear uniform, or they should carry school bags or not, or should they, or need they carry notebooks or not? These are the questions that they are asking to each other here. Now let's move to the another paragraph. Here, we shouldn't speak when our teacher is speaking, said Sambu to his friends. He will make things clear. Here, Sambu reminds the friends not to talk while teacher is speaking, okay? So now let's see another paragraph. You mustn't carry any expensive things with you. You should be careful with your purse in the crowd. There may be pickpockets around you. You needn't carry any school books. You ought to carry a notebook, a ball pen, a pencil, and a pencil sharpener. You need them to take notes and to sketch things you like. You can carry mobile phones and cameras if your parents permit. What do you see in this paragraph? There are the suggestions by the teacher. 
Okay, so the teacher requests the students not to carry expensive things. What are the expensi expensive things? Expensive things are costly things which cost a lot of money. For example, jewelries or mobiles or laptops. These are the expensive things, right? Okay, now, and he also asks the students to be careful with their pocket or money because there may be pickpockets. Who are pickpockets? Pickpockets are the persons who try to steal or who steal your money from your pocket, right? So he reminds the students to be careful with their pocket money. So you needn't carry the school books. He asks the students not to carry the school books, but to carry some net, uh, notes to take some notes and sketch things. Uh, for example, drawing of the you know, natural things or maybe temples. You, if, you, if you like to sketch, you may need the notebooks. And he also allows students to carry phones and cameras if the parents let them carry. Here, permit means to let them or give them permission. All right, students, now let's move to the another paragraph. Okay, students, let's see this. The bus will arrive here at 7.45 a.m. The teacher continued, we will start at 8 a.m. sharp, so you all must arrive before 5 minutes to 8. Here, the teacher is instructing the students to come on time. The exact time for leaving the place for field trip is 8 a.m., right? So all the students are asked to reach or arrive at the school venue before five minutes to eight. Okay, students, now let's move to the another paragraph here. Please, mother, can I have 100 rupees for pocket money and a mobile phone? Santi asked her mother. Santi was looking at mother's face, she was expect, expecting a positive answer from her. In this paragraph, Santi is at home and she is requesting, asking for permission to get money and mobile phone here, right? And she is expecting the positive answer means she is expecting that her mother will allow her to take money and mobile phone with her. Okay, what is the reply? Let's see. Why do you need to carry money and a mobile phone to school? Mother asked. Mommy, tomorrow is not a normal day. We are going on a field trip to Gorkha. Our bus leaves from school at 8 a.m. sharp, so I must reach there before 7.50 a.m., Santi said without a pause. Here, when mother says that you needn't take mobile phones and money to the school. And in this uh, inquiry, Santi says that it is not a normal day or normal school day. In normal school day, we don't need, but there are other activities like we are going to a, you know, a, another place for field trip. Here, she is going to Gorkha, so she needs that money and mobile phone, right? So in this case, the mother says that, all right, dear, you may carry father's camera as well, but be careful not to lose it. What do you see here? The mother is letting her carry the father's camera as well, along with money and mobile phone, right? Okay, yes. Now let's see the picture here. They are talking, right? The teacher and the students are talking here. What are they saying? Let's see. Do we have to stay in, a, in the hotel? Can we go and stay with our relatives? Certainly not. We must all stay in the hotel together. Here the students are asking for the permission if they can 
go to their relatives for the stay in while being in the field trip. Here, the teacher rejects or denies the request that they should or they must stay all in the hotel together, right? Okay, now let's move to the another paragraph here. There is a, another scene here, next morning means another day, when they are going to start their trip. What are they doing? Let's see. The next morning, everyone arrived in time. The bus left on time. They reached Gorkha at 11 a.m. Sir, may we eat outside or do we have to eat in this hotel? Santi asked the teacher. Here, the students arrived in time in the school and they started their trip and they reached to Gorkha at 11 a.m. and they are planning to eat their lunch, right, in Gorkha. So they are asking for the permission if they can eat outside or not. Here the teacher replies, you shouldn't eat outside. The things in the street are left out in the open. They are not hygienic. They are not good for health, said the teacher. The teacher do not, does not allow the students to eat outside because he, according to him, they are not hygienic, right? Hygienic means not good for health. They all had lunch in the hotel. Sir, can we take photos? Sambu asked the teacher. Yes, you can, but you must be aware if there are notices with the sign. Here is the sign. Sambu here asked the teacher to take the photo, uh, for the permission to take the photo, but the teacher reminds him that you can take photographs, but you must be aware that if there is a sign like this, a camera and the stop sign here, you cannot take the photograph. This means the sign you see here in the picture means photography prohibited. Photography means, you know, the activity of taking photograph and prohibited means not allowed. You are not given permission to take photographs. Prohibited means you are legally not prohibited, not allowed. And you cannot take photos of such places the teacher explained. Okay, now let's see the, the last part of our text. Can you see the picture here? Which place is this? It looks like a palace, right? Okay, where is it located? Yes, you are right. It is located in Gorkha district and it is known as the Gorkha Darbar, where Prithivinaran Saha started, you know, uh, ruling and unifying the nation, right? Okay, let's see the text, what is happening there. They visited Gorkha Darbar and Gorakhkali temple. They made notes of important things. At 4, 4 p.m., they sat in groups in an open space. They discussed and finalized their notes. They had to present a report at school. They all returned to the hotel at 5 p.m. The next morning, they left early for cream tar. They were excited to watch the cable cars. The cars were hanging on a rope like bats. It took nearly 10 minutes for them to reach the Manakamana temple. After offering their prayers, they had their lunch in a hotel. They made notes of interesting things and also took photographs. Finally, they came down to Kurintar and then they drove back to Kathmandu singing songs on the way. Okay, this is the last day of their trip and they visited there, uh, you know, uh, they visited different places like Gorkha Darbar, Gorakkali, and they also, uh, you know, went to Manakamana Temple by cable car and it took 10 minutes to reach them and they also had lawns and then they came down to Kurintar again to get back to Kathmandu. While returning back to Kathmandu, they were happy and they were singing songs uh, on the way, right? Did you do this, uh, this kind of similar, uh, you know, field trip uh, experience in your life? Yes, you have done, right? You also enjoy, 
uh, like these students on the way, don't you? Yes. So we have read about a field trip to Gorkha district and the places like Gorkha Darbar, Manakamana Temple, Gorokali Temple, and the experiences like, you know, riding in a, traveling in a cable car, okay? Right, so till now you have understood different kinds of uh, vocabularies as well. And you also learned or be, uh, you have been familiar with the requests, polite requests for making, for or asking for permissions like, uh, may we carry, uh, you know, the mobile phones or may we stay or can we stay? Okay, these are the structures that we have to use while asking for permissions to the teachers or others, you know, when we want to do something. Right, students? All right, now let's see the new words that we learned today. Let me show you. Can you pronounce this word? Yes. Instructions. Another word is overall. Let's see the one, another one. Pickpockets. Can you say it again? Pickpockets. That's correct. Next one. Hygienic. Once again, hygienic. That's right. This one is lunch. Yes. Another one. Photography. Can you say it again? Photography. Right. Next one, finalized. Can you tell again? Finalized, that's right. Another one is offer prayers. Can you say it? Offer prayers, that's good, great. Now, I'd like to talk about their meanings. All right, students? So let me show you the words here and explain their meanings. Instructions. Instructions mean the orders or informations that is given to you to do certain task. Let me use it in a sentence. Our teacher, our teacher gives us instructions instructions before we play before we play games before we play games right okay so this is the use of sentence by this sentence you can understand that we are giving some orders or informations right to follow okay students are you clear about the meaning all right, now let me give you another word meaning here. The word is overall. Overall, overall means it is covering the whole area as a whole. The meaning of this word is as a whole. As a whole means something in you know, covering in a larger area or all parts. You can also say that all parts. Let me use here Sambu and Sambu and Santi Santi are monitors monitor for overall team. Overall team here means all the students together. So as a whole, you know, not the smaller groups. Okay, let me show you another word meaning, pickpockets. Pickpockets means a person, person, who steals uh, persons who steal money from pockets? Money from pockets. 
Okay, so we can use it in a sentence like, we must be aware of pickpockets, pickpockets in markets or crowded areas. All right, students. Now, let's see another word, hygienic. Hygienic means healthy or clean. This word means clean or, you know, healthy. Let me use this in a sentence. We should eat hygienic food every day or so we can be healthy by eating hygienic food. Now another word, lunch. Lunch either is a, it's a day meal, right? Day meal. Okay, students, can you use it? Okay, for I like dal bhat for my lunch. Okay, you can say I like dal bhat for my lunch. Okay, so it's a day meal after your morning breakfast. All right, students. Now you can similarly use photography. Photography means taking uh, photographs. You can say that I like photography of you know someone who uh, you know took a great photo. So it's an art of taking photography as photographs as well. So another is finalized means to complete something, to finish something. So you can say that I finalized my notes after the busy. Another one is offering prayers. Offering prayers means you are going to some temples and you are doing some kind of, you know, a wishing or thanking God for doing something. So that is a kind of uh, visiting the temples. Okay, now these are the meanings of words from our text. Now let's move to the exercises from our textbook. So please uh, be ready uh, with your exercise book. The exercise three, we have to uh, fill the crossword puzzle here. We have given the questions or the information and we have to find the words here. Okay, are you ready students? Now let's see the meanings or information here. And you have to fill the you know, boxes uh, either across or down. Across means going horizontally, down means vertically from top to down. Okay students, let's see the information here from one number. For one number, it says including everyone or in total. As we already talked about in total or as a whole that we say it, oh sorry, first I'll show you all the information here. Now there is the word. What is the word? It's starting from, oh, okay, let's see. It's O-B-E-R-A-L-L, -L, overall, right? Yes, your guess was absolutely correct because we already talked about this word, right? Now let's see the second information here. A person who steals money from people's pocket. Now, can you guess which, the, which is the word? It's uh, here, the two is missing here. You have to start from here. Okay, the, the word starts with P. Yes, you are right, it's pickpocket. P-I-C-K-P-O-C-K-E. T, pickpocket. Okay, pickpocket is a person who steals money from people's pocket. Now let's see the, uh, you know, information three here. A set of clothes worn by members of an organization. In any organization, there are a set of clothes. What do we call that kind of, you know, clothes? Let's see the three here. Okay, it starts with you. Can you guess now? Yes. You also wear in your school, that is called uniform, U-N-I, 
F O R M. That's correct. Okay, now let's move to the another symbol. Symbol means some indications, some signs. Okay, so let's look at the you know number four here. The word is the letters are four, so it starts with S I Z N. We call it sign. Sign means symbol, right? Okay, let's see five. Five is here, and you have to find out clean and good for health. What kind of word is that? Okay, it, it starts with S. Yes, we already talked about the meaning of this word. It's hygienic, right? H-Y-Z-I-E and I-C. That's correct, guess. Okay, let's see the six here. Okay, where is the six? Yes, it's here. You have to uh, find out the word stopping for a moment, short time before continuing. So when you stop for short time, we call it a pause, right? P-A-U-S-E, pause. All right, students, now let's see down part here. Uh, let's fill the boxes, empty boxes here from the seven to stop somebody from doing something by law. So we said that it's prohibited, P-R-O-S-I-B-T-E-D. Okay, now let's see costing more money. What is the word that means costing more money? Yes, it's, it starts with E. Okay, all right, your guess is correct. It's expensive, E-X-P-E-N-S-I-V-E. -E. Okay, students, that's great of you to fill the all the crossword puzzle. Now let's move to the another exercise. This is true or false from your exercise book. And you have to decide whether these statements are true or false. Okay, let me read it here. All the grade six pupils uh, of Santi High School went on a field trip. So are they all going or do you think they are some friends? They are all right. Aren't they? Now let's see. Yes, it's true because all the students of grade six are going on the field trip. They could wear casual dress while going on the field trip. Okay, can they wear field, uh, you know, casual dress? No, right? They have to wear uniform, so it's false. They could carry mobile phones if their parents permit it. If they, if their parents give them a permission to carry mobile phones, they can carry, right? So it's true. Okay, now let's see, uh, the, uh, I know number D, they could eat food whenever they liked. Is it true? No, right? They have to eat inside the hotel. Another one is, they have to stay in the hotel. Is it right? Yes, they have to. They had to stay in the hotel, not outside or in their relative's home. Now they visited Gorakkali rubber industry. Is it right? Did they go to the industry? Now it's false because they actually visited Gorakkali temple, not the rubber industry. Right, students? Yes. Now let's see Z. Cable cars took 10 minutes to reach Manakamana. Is it right? Yes, definitely. That's right. This was a single day uh, field trip. Was it a single day? No, because they have traveled in the next day as well, right? So it's a false sentence. Now, here are the evidence that how these things are true and false. Uh, as you see that all the students are going there and uh, the teacher is not allowing them to wear casual you know, dress and they are permitted to carry phones and cameras if their parents permit and they shouldn't eat outside and they had all they had uh, lunch in the hotel and they visited Gorakkali Temple, not the uh, you know industry rubber industry. They all returned to the hotel 5 p.m. means they stay, stayed there. Next morning means they stayed more than one day, so it was not the one day trip. And it took 10 minutes to reach them there. Now let's see another exercise is the you know questions and answers. Now all the students, please have a look at the questions from your book, and uh, you have to find out the answers. Now let's see the questions. Who monitored the whole team? I'll show you here. Who monitored the whole team? The whole team? Yes, they are, let's see, they are Sambu and Salti, right? 
Yes, San, Sambu and Santi monitor the whole team. Now let's see the next question. What, thing, what things did Santi take with her? Do you know what uh, did she take? Yes, it is. They are money and mobile and also camera, right? Why was Santi delighted? Delighted means being happy. She was delighted because she got the opportunity to take money, camera, uh, all the things that she asked, right? Now, another question is, when did they reach Gorkha? Okay, can you guess? It was 11 a.m., right? Yes. Now, next question, why shouldn't they eat the things left, over, left out open? Why shouldn't we eat? Because they are not hygienic, right? Yes, that's great. Another question, where did they eat their lunch? Where did they? Did they eat outside? No, they ate. Oh, they, had all, all, they all had lawns in the hotel. All right, students, now we have a few more questions. Why did they sit in groups after the visit? Okay, why did they sit in the groups after the visit? Yes, to have the discussion and finalize the notes. What were hanging on the, uh, were like bats? Yes, they were. The, you know, the cars, the cable cars were hanging uh, like bats on the wire. Okay, this is the end of the, you know, uh, lesson or this text that we are reading. And we have talked about different, uh, you know, new words. And we also got acquainted with uh, the, you know, uh, sentences like uh, making polite requests for permissions and also the suggestions, how we can suggest or how we can deny some, you know, requests. All right, students, thank you for your patience to watch this video till the end. I hope you have enjoyed learning from this video. See you in the next lesson. Thank you.